What's up with the sickness dot net? It's your boy Coop, man. You know, we back at it again with another interview. Um, you know, I try to bring something special to y'all every time I do these things, man. So it's another one here's another special one in my opinion, man. Um let's go ahead and introduce yourself to the listeners, G. What it do, what it do, y'all? It's baby bam, you know, wrong kind, you know. What it do? Baby bam, wrong kind, man. Let everybody know where you're from, man. Okay, I'm from South East San Diego, you know, out of uh, Lincoln Park, you know, from out of them Diego streets. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. For the listeners who don't know, man, uh, Baby Bam is in a little bit of a situation uh, right now, and uh, you know, we want to. Uh, he also got a project out right now, but you know, before we get into that, we want to try to get these listeners familiar with who Baby Bam is and what's going on. So, um. So you tell everybody, man, what your situation is right now, what you're going through right now. Uh, you know, well, currently, you know, I'm incarcerated right now, you know. I'm up against it, you know. They got your boy with a life sentence right now, you know, and I'm, uh, you know, I'm trying to come from up under it, you know, some faulty evidence against me. You know how they play in them courts, you know. They ain't got the uh, proper rep- representation. They ain't going to uh, treat you right in them courthouses, you know. So I'm trying to, uh, you know, just work on that little situation right there and get up out of that, you know. Man, so they said you, you just mentioned a life sentence, man. Before we go into that, how long you been down? Uh, right now I've been down eight, you know. I've been down eight years. Eight years, man. Can you, can you say what they got, what they got you up on? Uh, right now they got me on, uh, two, uh, two murders. You know, they got me for two bodies right now, you know. You know, faulty evidence, so gee, you know. Faulty evidence on your locker. Got and put put a kickstand on you, man. Yeah, yeah, they hit me, man. They hit me over the head, man. You know, uh, you know, I had a code defendant on the case, and you know, for some reason he just wanted to lie and you know, and put everything on me. But you know how it go when you know when you're facing a, a situation like that. You know, some people just uh, they just fold over and they get the line and not saying what it really is and what the real the real situation is about. You know what I'm mean? saying? So, I mean. You said you had a code of fitness, so you're the only one doing the bid right now, or did you did your code you get yeah, some, some right now? Food? Right now, see, he took a he took a deal for thirteen. He took a deal for thirteen to get on the stand and testify against me and lie on me and things like that. So, you know, they gave him thirteen, so that's what he got. You know, he rolled it off for thirteen just to you know lie on me and shit like that. You know, man, crazy. So, so eight years, man. I mean. For a little bear, for baby bear, man. I mean, what what you what you been doing all these eight years, man, to maintain your sanity? You know, I just been in these books, you know, studying and, and, and trying to find a way out, you know, and uh, you know, exercising, keeping my mind and my body right. You got to do that when you know you face some time like that. You don't want to break and fold over. You know, you can go crazy in a situation like this if you ain't got a strong mind. You know, so I try to keep my mind strong, and I spend a lot of books. You know, I keep that number one book, that Bible, you know. You never can go wrong with that thing, you know. Indeed. When you're trying to read up, you're trying to, there's faulty evidence on the case, and you you fighting, you basically fighting to get your life back. So, yes, sir, yes, sir. during the eight years, I mean, is you, is you, uh, are you any step closer trying to get, you know. Now I'm in my appeal process. I'm in my appeal process right now, you know. But, you know, they want you to learn the law. I'd say in a year or two, you know, they want you to learn all that stuff in a year. And it's like, you know, when you ain't educated to that law work like that, it's kind of, it's like, if you up against it, gee, you know, it's kind of hard. So, you know, my whole thing is, to, you know, get the money up so I can get uh, get an attorney, you know, to look at the case. Right, so that's what you're working on right now. You've been getting your education up and then now you got to work on the funds so you can get that proper representation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. That's, that's right. That's what it is right now. So I mean, it's it's, it's really evident that the hom- uh, evident that the homies are supporting you. You know what I mean? You got this big project in in your name, Free Baby Bam compilation. Yes, sir. You know. Yes, sir. Yeah, I got you yeah. know the Free Baby Bam compilation. You know, you know, sitting in here, you got time to think. That's all you got time to do is do a lot of thinking. So I was like, you know, I'm really into music. You know, especially South San Diego music. So I was like. How can I get a part of that? How can I be a part of that situation like that? So, you know, I reached out to Slick, and, you know, I hit him with the idea, like, you know, I want to uh, wanna come up with a compilation album. He was like, let's go. Let's do it. Wrong kind of shit. Let's go. So I was like, okay, that's good. Let's go, boy. You know? 
and we ran with it. And, and right now, we're tearing the Southeast up right now. They love me. You're tearing the streets of Southeast up, man. I just got the album, and uh, I just skimmed through it, you know. I want to say just a couple tracks, probably about four tracks, but I got to say, God damn. Hey, the, the homies came through for you. It's yeah, a they slap. Yeah, I got real slappers on there, you know. I got, you know, the single I'm dropping right now. I'm going to come out with the single. We're working on a single right now by Shake Fake, you know, by the Emerald Hills. You know, it's called Really Out Here. That's a slapper. You know, I got a slick on there. You know, Eyes B, uh, Rig Nut, you know, uh, what's that? Lil Chang. So they knocked that out. I got the boy A Hit. I'm going to get a shout out to my boy A Hit. I got him on there. You know, I got some collaborations, man. They, they really came through for me, man. They want to see me. You know, back in the stock of these streets, and I, and I can appreciate that, G, you know? Yeah, that. Yeah, that. For sure. So, um, man, so when when you when was, when was did you come up with this idea to do, to go ahead and say, man, I want to get the homies together and project you know, for me? This is, I did this album, man. I did this album in two months, you know. Well, I did it in two months, and I really put my heart and soul into it. You know, I really sat right here in the cell, man, every day, you know inboxing. Everybody I knew that did this music, you know, like, hey, man, you know, I'm trying to put something together, you know, and they all, you know, they was with it, and they, and they came together for me, you know, so I say to a lot of people that's out there, it's like, you got to be hungry, you got to be, you know, you got to put your all into the situation you're trying to make something happen. You can't just sit on your hands, man, and, and wait for somebody to give it to you, you know? Uh-huh, baby, 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 I'm telling you, man, from a jail cell, rappers, <laughs> He's telling you, man, from the jail cell. He make the moves from a cell, man, and he put together some quality work. So, and he just gave you some game. So, but you want yeah, to it's, it's think real, you're it's not work, you know. And, and, and I'm trying to, you know, it's not. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to get rich off this or nothing like that. My whole thing is to get, you know, attorney fees to get up out of my situation, you know, a lot of people do music, them dudes out there, you know, I'm not putting nobody down that's out there doing this music, but a lot of them dudes do it for the women, you know, and the, and the fame and the attention and all that, you know, I'm doing it for my dudes that's in the same situation as me, that's, that's behind the wall, that, that might not never get out, but they don't have to keep their, you know, their mind trapped inside the box, they can think outside the box and make things happen in situations like me. And do what I did, and, and you know, I'm just giving hope to the dudes that's behind the wall like me. You know, I'm not doing it for the attention or for the women or nothing like that. Dude. You know what I'm saying? Just attorney fees and for my dudes that's behind the wall. Man, that's real game right there, man. That is real game, real project meaning something. You hit it on the head. You know what I'm saying? A lot of rappers they ain't in it. They ain't got no passion in for that for other reasons. But you got a real reason, man. You know. You try to and get a lawyer around this thing. Yeah, that, yeah, that. And that's what makes the album so hard for them. They, they feel it, you know what I'm saying? They feel me, they ain't into it like that. So they'll feel me like, you know, it's real, you know what I'm saying? I really need that attorney, you know? I need that attorney to, you know, to look at this case. Because I got real water, G, you know? They knew what they was doing when they was in that courtroom. You know, they didn't have no fair deal for the boy, you know? Like, they just wanted to wash me up. You know, due to my gang history, due to the fact that I... You know, I'm about to link a park, you know, and, you know, how they feel about link a park, dudes, and they, they want to wash this up anyway, you know? So, it's, it's hard to explain, dude. So, man, m- mentioning that, mentioning that, I mean, what, do, was you keeping up with what was going on with, with, uh, with how they trying to lock rappers up for, for verses and things of that nature? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really in tune to that. You know, I know the situation, you know, with Tiny Do a little bit. I don't really know too much on it, but, you know, I don't, I don't feel that, if that's the case, they should go get a whole lot of rappers that's doing, you know, lyrical things like that and, and mentioning situations in their life. Most rappers just tell stories about how they came up, you know, and trying to get up out of that situation. So, to, to, Try to lock somebody up for expressing they, expressing they feel how they feel about their music and how they feel about their life. I don't think that's right, G, you know? So I, I, I kind of hope Tiny do come from up under that and I, and I wish the best for my boy, you know? That's kind of crazy. He had to fight just, just like the same way you fight. It's been a, bit, been a longer fight for you, more rounds, but, you know, he had to fight for his and he had, you know, his time yeah. kept a little shorter and got free, so. Yeah, now look at it as a blessing. You know, sometimes God takes you to certain situations to bring you up out of them to show you something better. You know what I'm saying? So 
that's what I think his situation is, because, you know, he got some little shine on him right now, and, you know, hopefully he drop a project out and everybody feel it, you know? Yeah, that, man. So, I, I got to ask you, man. You've been down, you've been down eight years, man. What what you miss the most about the streets, oh, man? Uh, I, I kind of say, you know, just hanging out with my family, you know, being with my family, being able to, you know, go to the refrigerator, G, just to be able to open up the refrigerator and be like, man, I want <laughs> that. <laughs> you know, that, that, that's the most important thing, man, that family support, man. You need that family support in this situation, man. You know, to the blessings of God, you know, I got that family support, so I got that right now. So I'm good, you know? That's what's happening. That's what's happening, man. Um, Shit, I mean, the album is out right now, 20, 22, 23 tracks. 23, five. Yeah, yeah, man, everybody on here, man. He didn't already mentioned it, uh, you know, A Hit, Mickey Slick, Ice B, Rick Nut, Shake Bake, uh, the whole Southeast, man, is on this thing, man. The streets, <laughs> Mac 50, Kurt Nitty, man, they on here, man. Eddie Mac, man. So yeah, it's a whole, yeah. <laughs> baby Bam on here, man, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they came through, man. You know, I got I got the home girl, Lady Real, too. You know, Lady Real, when she on the album on Kenny Kane Lane, I think she gassed out on there. You know, I got Danielle on there. You know, she she kind of, you know, she was a up-and-coming singer. So I wanted to show some support, you know. I didn't want to, you know, make an album when it was just on some blood, on some blood shit, you know, or or or, or just on some gangbanging shit. I wanted everybody to be able to hop in their ride, throw it in the tape that and get on, you know, and feel it. So, you know, I try to go everywhere I could in Southeast to holler at everybody to get on the compilation now. So it's a couple of dudes I hollered at that, you know, they wasn't really supporting it, but, you know, no love lost. You know, I, I respect it, you know. Yeah, I mean, that's just how business go, man. That's just how business be sometimes, just with this rap shit. But since you got a dope-ass project together with or without them, you know what I mean? So salute to you for that, man, putting that together. Yeah, um, yeah. You got any shout outs, man? You know the the, the people you know, listening, man. Uh, you know, I just wanna uh give a shout out to all my dudes from Carsberry, my boy Steve Hank from Fine Nine Brim, you know, my nigga Lil Knot, you know, clacking in the original. Uh, you know, Lil Bam, free Lil Bam, you know, he down there on the on the appeal right now. So, you know, free my boy, hopefully get out of Lady Big Bro. You know, big shout out to Mitchie Slick, man, for all the love and support, you know. He could have been, you know, the, the boy got so much going on right now. He could have been like, look, little bro, I, I can't even do it. So, you know, he took time out of his day, you know, and put some of his projects to the side just to make sure that the compilation came together. So, you know, I got nothing but love and respect for the dudes. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people say a lot of bad things about my dude, but, you know, he's a stand-up guy, man. You know, real G dude, you know, about the Southeast, real dude, you know, making good music. So, you know. Shout out to my family and lady, you know, Carla, my bae, and lady bae, you know. Shout out to everybody that's supporting the movement. You know, this wrong time movement, you know, the compilation movement, you know. And uh, that's how we do it right there. Shout out to uh, Stickness.net for the interview. You know, I, I, I respect it and I, you know, appreciate it and everything. Oh, man, that's all I love, man. You know, we we here especially for the streets, man, the real street cats and things like that, man. That's what we here for, man, you know. So I appreciate you having the time even to even uh get get back at us, man, and getting it done, man. But the the, the album is in stores, right? Will you have any C is it this on C D too, right? Yeah, I'm about to uh so I'm in the process of doing right now. It's gonna be in the works right now. Right now I'm on uh, iTunes and Google Play, so you know, that's where I'm at right now with it, but you know, our topic is on the way, you know, we're putting it together. Right, right. Well shit, um, I got a couple songs. I'm probably going to post up one of these songs, man. I don't know which one it's going to be yet. Probably going to be this, this, uh, probably going to be this, uh. I've been checking this, this track. When I've been and, checking it, G, they've been on that Baby Can't You See by Damon. They've really been on that a little bit. And then they've been on that Maybach okay. Driven by Peter Boy and, uh, Mac Knight. So that's, you know, they've been on that one right yeah, there. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one I'm, I'm, that's the one I've been listening to before I just, before I talked to you, man. That one. That, uh, Pay the Boy and Mac 90, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, they, they, yeah, they, they killed that, man. They murdered the beat on that, man. I was really feeling that one. I'm kind of, I'm kind of happy my boy hit me with that one right there. Oh, man. Me. Shout out to Pay the Boy, man. I, 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 I hear that. Yeah. <laughs> For real. But, uh, man. And, man, uh, you know, like I said, man, uh, 
Betty Betty Bam copy Betty Bam compilation is in is well is on line right now out of all your favorite digital retail outlets, wherever the hell you need to go get it, man. On your Xbox, on your PS three, on your uh iPad, wherever the hell you can access it right now on one of them digital outlets. And I gotta also plug myself, man, you know, today I just dropped my compilation community service three. It's a lot of southeast on there too as well. So but any last words though, baby bam? Uh, you know, just support the movement, man. Know that that's a real dude behind these walls just trying to make it happen, man. And, you know, trying to hit y'all with some good music. You know, hit everybody in the Southeast with some good music. You know, not saying there ain't no good music out there because it is, but, you know, a lot of dudes ain't really putting it out there like it needs to be put out there. So, you know, I'm a blessed star every time I get an opportunity to. So, you know, just stay tuned, you know, for that compilation. And, you know, I'm working on some more. So, you know, I appreciate the love and the support. Uh, that was my last question. We will be hearing from you again, correct? From yes, you sir, on the, yes. On the yes, sir. This is the last music. one, man. I'm already in the works on compilation too, man. I'm, I'm, I ain't go. I'm ten songs in, G. I'm ten songs in already, man. So, what? You know, they, they sleeping, man. They sleeping on. Don't sleep on me. You know, I'm gonna wake them up. You know, I'm gonna wake That's them up. Man. I'm gonna work on yeah, the wrong time. You know, it's the wrong time takeover, G. You know, <laughs> <laughs> they know about it.